Hey folks, what's up? Welcome back to another Apollo Mass video. Today, let's talk a bit about the upcoming Apollo and, and Lycanroc, along with Tina and Flareon, like dual Pokefair banner, although Tina's a four star, but you know, it's, 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 a, you know, it's a future four star, so. Um, anyways, yeah, uh, as usual, we will be pulling for them live when they drop later tonight, so um, stay tuned for that, I guess, and let's, uh, let's, get, let's get into this. So, um, Apollo and Lycanroc is a very, very interesting unit. Um, because it does like it's a lot of different things. It's our what second sprint unit I believe right uh, in the game and Yeah, it's um, that has an EX support role as well, right? So a lot a lot of fun stuff to get into so all right um, Just uh, in terms of what it does well, right? What this unit does well first of all, it's fast It is very 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 fast 463 speed is a lot of speed a cellar costs no gauges, right? You um your 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 B move could buff your team's uh, speed as well uh, on top of a lot of other like gauge stuff in in the grid which I'm not even sure if it's gonna be like that necessary pep rally too catalyst max move team free move next right bogo nine on a Celerock. um what else uh there's probably sands of time somewhere sands of time right <laughs> uh, incredibly incredibly fast uh, unnecessarily fast maybe um it's uh might might be overkill so uh that's definitely really really nice so single move countdown being a sprint unit obviously that's one of the, the the features right and it does do that uh quite a bit right um for example obviously the 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 the, the sprint ex right that's minus three single move countdown um the first time you use it to start the trainer move has minus one um sync move countdown there right you have um, your your Apollo's reserve thing. That's another minus one sync move countdown after using the max move, right? And you have uh, da, 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 where is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Minus one sync move countdown every time you use your Acelarc as well, right? So like just just a lot of sync move countdown stuff that you could definitely uh, you know use to advantage. And yeah, outside of that. Um, you also have, uh, you know, just overall the damage is, is nice, right? The If you look at, like, first of all, 424 physical attack at, like, you know, at 4 stars, 140 is, is really, really high. And he also does have a tech innate nuke. Well, I guess I, well, I guess we'll just have to call these innate nukes now because they're not, like, tech anymore. <laughs> um, but yeah, it increased during Sandstorm. Obviously, uh, you have the max move, which, you know, high base power, right? Um, and then on top of that, you have extra um, multipliers during stand 5 for your regular move. Um, you have, uh, which also gets boosted by, you know, physical move up next as well, right? When you use uh, your quick moves. So there's also that. Um, sand Blaster 9 for your sink, right? So you got, you know, bronze sink 5. You got a decent amount of that, that stuff, right? And... Um, yeah, 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 just uh, overall pretty good damage all around. Uh, then you also have Sandstorm. He has Sandstorm, right? Uh, on his max move, um, max rockfall, which also he does extend, right, from his uh, from his passive over here, uh, which is cool. Also, it protects your team from uh, Sandstorm damage, which is neat, right? So, you know, if there's any units that, that need or, or that want, I guess, uh, Sand Shelter, like, is a bit of a luxury. Um, in their in their grids, right? You could save a few energy, so you don't have to pick that up, which is definitely neat. And yeah, also next year you got the team buffs, right? A lot of a lot of a lot of team buffs over here with your with your B move. So yeah, like it's <laughs> it's a it's a it's a sprint unit, but it it kind of does a bit of everything, right? It supports got you know the big got debuffs, tech nukes, right? It does again does damage. It, it sets field effects, right? Just your usual sprint stuff. Um, so, yeah, uh, the activation condition is when you use a sync move once, and then um, three max of your gauges, and then um, more raise, right? These stats up to four max uh, attack, defense, special defense, and speed, which is very, 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 very good because, like, that's you know, you're not buffing any unnecessary stats, right? If you're running a physical team, so you're getting you know all all this good stuff that generally is just used across the board, right? And um, yeah, you also get physical move up next too for your team as well, right? Which is also great. And uh, I mean, uh, I guess I guess one more that I didn't put on here was like, you could probably tank, because again, he's, he's getting um, 
plus four defense, special defense, right? And then, you know, just over here, right, with the with the EX support roll, right? If you um six star EX, that's eight hundred ten HP. 270 on both defenses, right, with 500 speed. <laughs> like, that's really, really, that's really good for a uh, for, for defensive um, measure, right? You got stuff like Natural Remedy, Soothing Sand um, in, in your grid as well, right? So, yeah, 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 the, this, this guy could pr probably tank. Is that just, like, the new thing for, like, uh, modern-day units now? It's just, like, they, they are every single role? <laughs> Is that... Is that what's up? Okay, so uh, there's also a few debuffs. I mean, a few. It's it's mainly like the defensive debuffs, right? A cellar rock uh, defense destroyer nine. That's minus two defense every time you use a cellar rock, right? So like, just one use of the rock, right? You get minus two defense. You get minus one sync move countdown. You get physical move up next for yourself, right? Among like other things. Um, so like, yeah, <laughs> it's 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 uh does a lot of stuff. Does does a lot of stuff with just that one move. I uh, I, I just realized I wrote damage twice. <laughs> It's good, right? But uh, but also obviously support EX, right? So, yeah, uh, it's a it, yeah. This this unit does like almost everything. So, a uh, lot lot of really great things that you know that it has. As for some downsides, uh, I don't I don't like his own sand, honestly. Um, again, he could set it and extend it, which is nice, right? But it's just a few things that kind of like. Mm, Right, because uh, first of all, if you do look at his trainer move, it's plus four physical attack and plus two crit. So you're missing plus two physical attack and plus one crit, right? That plus one crit you get from sharp entry, um, but that plus two attack, you're probably thinking of getting it from like the B move. But the B move is the activation condition is when you use a sync move once, and the sync move is good, but like. If you if, if if you want to use the the nuke right, you do want to you want to have sand over here, right? For again stuff like sand blaster nine, right? And uh, your 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 innate uh, as well. So okay, are you gonna use the max move before your sink, right? Are you gonna use the the, the max a using your max move before the sink, and b using your max move and sink move without having your physical attack maxed out. So, again, it's not like an unsolvable issue. There's two very, uh, you know, there's 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 two pretty easy uh, so solutions. One is bring another Sandstorm setter, because, again, he sets Sandstorm and extends it. It's nice, but it's probably not going to be enough, right, for a bit longer battles, right, or even just, like, medium-length battles. Um, and, and, and the, I get, yeah, you know, the other solution would just be bring someone <laughs> who could max out his, uh, you know, um, offensive stats, right? So, yeah, I guess there's also fierce entry, but again, like, like how much, like ha the, these are both ten energy each, right? So like, how much stock do you want to spend on on all this stuff? Which again, he himself is a bit of a support, so it's kind, it's it's just kind of like a waste to bring like another support, right? So, yeah, it's just uh, I don't like I don't like the balance over there, right? That's that's one thing that definitely you know kind of irks me about this unit. So, moving on, let's talk about the lucky skill sync grid. Team comp, all that stuff for for this unit. So in terms of lucky skill, uh, you could go, you could do your usual crit strike too. You could do um, weathered warrior, right? Because he does set again. It's only one, but it gets extended, so there's that, right? You do weathered warrior um, if you want damage healer. If you're doing like the ex roll support thing, then possibly, I guess you could also do something like a vigilance, maybe. <laughs> um, if you yeah if, if you want him to tank that's that's fine too uh, head start would be nice adrenaline would be nice right um the you know that's no surprises there i guess fierce entry two or sharp entry maybe right you can maybe consider that uh, again depending on on you know what cons you're going with so uh yeah those th those are options as for the synchro itself all right let's just start at two out of five i guess uh so Two out of five, you do have some nice things, right? You do have like surging sand over here. You got um, sands of time if you need that extra speed, <laughs> right? Um, so it's, it's same thing with, uh, with with catalyst down here if you need it, right? Um, move gear fresh, right? Same 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 idea, uh, but otherwise, you know, probably just pick up. Uh, I don't know, it's just damage stuff, right? Stone edge, pick up stone edge power ups. 
in general. Um, I'm assuming sand if you want. Uh, it just really depends on, you know, uh, how, how, like, how much AOE of the stage that, like, that. I can't even, I, can't, I don't know, I can't speak right now. Damage! Big! Take this! Alright. Otherwise, probably not. Okay. <laughs> um, moving on. 3 out of 5. So, 3 out of 5. Um, I'm assuming you're syncing with them, right? Just because, like, you, you, like, you get so much from syncing with them, right? So, like, why, why, why would you not? So, um, if, if that's the case, right, you could do that. You could pick up, again, Sandblaster, all that stuff. Um, uh, actually, just because we have, like, so much gauges, I'd you know, probably go over here instead. It's, it's like, one energy difference, right? And you, this is overkill, and this is, like, well, this is also overkill, but <laughs> it's cooler when you see the big numbers, all right? So, yeah, you could do that. Um, actually, yeah, 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 this, this costs a bit less, uh, gauge, or not gauges, energy. So, so you can do that over here as well. Um, if you, if you want more, uh, just damage, I guess, right? Um, just regular move, DPS. Uh, you, you could also still, like, bronze sync here, right? It just depends on, on the stage, how much stock, right, you're putting into that. And I guess the other units on your team, right? Because I'd say, like, you, you want to sync with them at least once. Second or third time, again, it really depends, right? Do you still have Sandstorm? Do you... Do you have any other units on your team that have a really, really nice sync that they could use, right? Whether it's a support EX or some other... Rock, Tech Nuker, right? Um, so in those cases, I'd probably, I'd probably opt for the just DPS instead. Um, right. But again, certain Sand obviously does also depend on Sandstorm. But, you know, if you have someone else that nukes on your team, you could, yeah, go for that. Um, I, I don't care too much about this one, personally. Uh, it does give you one extra sync move countdown, but that's kind of it. Because, like, obviously, if you're, like, if you're looking at like that well i guess not well just that in the the one extra physical move up next right um but yeah like i, I don't think it's that big of a deal because you have to go all the way down here right this is pretty expensive to pick up like it looks neat and and fun i think three excel rocks is pretty you know it, it's three excel rocks is plenty right for for a run i feel so all right, so moving on to team comps, right? So uh, this would be something really nice. And if you're looking at like what, 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 what the heck? Who's 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 tanking? Who's um, you know what's 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 going on here? It's like three damage healers. Uh, well, yeah, this is again assuming best case scenario you have Apollo with the support EX roll, right? You could definitely roll out something like this because you could tank with Apollo, right? We we saw those stats earlier. Those, those are crazy crazy defensive stats, right? Um, for a like non like you know, main support, right? So you could definitely do that. You could definitely do that, I feel. And then you also have um, uh, Dianth over here, right? Which if you do have 4 out of 5, you got the Team Sharp entry, which gives him that, you know, extra crit he needs. So that's that's nice, right? Um, also, if he does eventually go down, like, Dianth could take a few hits, right, <laughs> as well. She uh, she maxed out her, her defenses, and um, yeah. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's, that's, that's neat. And then... Uh, he could set another um, sandstorm on his sink, right? Uh, even though his sink itself, damage wise, not not the best, but you know, just for the sake of like another sandstorm, that's that's worth it. I feel like maybe, <laughs> right? And if and if you're also like running him with like rock slide, right? Um, you could also flinch, which helps the uh, which helps him tank too. Which I don't even I don't like I, just, I don't even think he needs that much help. Tanking again if you do have with the, the, the support X roll. So yeah, there's uh, there's that I guess. Or you could use the brother, right? Um, Ingo obviously, you know, with that he could just do all the stat buffing, um, and he sets sandstorm. So there's that, right? Uh, another another cool uh, sandstorm setter that uh, doesn't doesn't get used that often, I guess. But it's a, it's a legit sandstorm setter. Is, uh, is, is our friend Anniversary Raihan, right? Which uh, just came back, uh, I don't know, is the banner still up? I don't even know. Um, came back recently. So yeah, yeah, yeah. He has Sandstorm, right? Um, he is more like special oriented though. So, you know, 
he, uh, he doesn't benefit that much from from the physical stuff that 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 Paulo dishes out. But um, yeah, he could also give you um, physical special move up next, right? And I believe also the super effective up next, so so that that could help, right? Um, again, stuff like Twister Aggravation, he could tank a bit himself. Again, all three of these units, right? Assuming he's not support EX, because if he's support EX, he's, he's yeah, crazy tank, right? Um, yeah, they, 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 all three of these units can sort of tank, right? So if you're even down to like your last unit, you can survive like two or three hits, right? You just need to clutch one out at the end there, so that uh, that's 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 something that's something but uh yeah uh any rahan's a, a low-key a pretty nice uh, unit to go for um i guess another one would be uh would be it's ground type but it's cynthia right um cynthia again she does also have a dust kicker over here right this is infinite which is really really nice um so you got that you don't even need the extension uh over here right he has extension for his and all and all that and uh, yeah, Cynthia is a uh, pretty solid gauge-wise, right? She's decently fast, right? 419 speed. She has speed buffs herself, right? Sands of Time. You know, this should be a pretty manageable speed team. Again, this is whom you have support EX for, for Apollo. Um, you could do Giovanni too, right? Giovanni. Uh, he does have ground zone though, not not rock zone. So do keep that in mind, I guess. But uh, other than that, he uh, yeah, he's it's Giovanni. It's Giovanni. He's got his own um, thing, right, uh, on his B-move. Um, with Crushing Earthquake, you get Sandstorm here as well. So that's that's definitely a, a, a nice one. He He's physical special, but, you know, if you're running ground, right, he's mainly physical. Uh, he w is hard on the gauges, but that's why Apollo is so great on the gauges, right? So if you're running Giovanni, maybe just go a bit more gauge friendly nodes with Paulo, right? That could probably help, uh, you know, quite a bit, I'd say, so. But uh, but otherwise, again, just any just regular sandstorm setting, you, like, even if you got, like, the OG, like, Acerola, right, the free one, right, that's that's fine, too. Um, or, or, you know, in terms of any other rock damage dealers you want to run alongside it. Um, you could do blue, right, because he does have he does have a double edge over here, right after he um, he megas. He also buffs crit as well, so you know could also help um, Paulo max that out there. Um, Hilda, obviously over here, um, she's you know pretty good on gauges too. Uh, so you could run your third unit as a pretty heavy gauge unit, uh, or or even the OG, our our, our friend Olivia, right, which uh, hopefully hopefully gets in a grid expansion soon. <laughs> But, you know, she's physical, and uh, I assume a lot of people have her. Oh, 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 low-key. He could, uh, he could, he could, he could, he could, he could be a fun one. Even though he's more of a fire unit, right? But, you know, if you want, like, just rock, uh, just to, like, rock max moves. His rock max doesn't set Sandstorm, though, right? His uh, rock damage field. But, uh, you know, I don't know. I, I, j I just don't see Gordy mentioned too often. I just want to bring him up. He's cool. Anyways. <laughs> Uh, just okay, so before we get to the end of this I probably mentioned Tina as well She's also on the banner uh, as a as a banner four star. I mean, she's a she's a support, right? She's a support that mainly does stuff um, Out like through her like like the debuffing move charm, right? Because you know, she has, she has a lot of uh, charm stuff like so, you know, you have charm over here and then um, the passive you have catalytic infliction when you use that there's also team mind bracing infliction which you know, which is which is nice, right? Oh, I wouldn't say mainly, but you know, the, she has, she has uh, her pass is mainly based on that. Um, she could tank decently well, right? At like five stars, these stats don't jump out of the water, but you do have stuff like team sync regen, endurance, and the passive, right? Obviously, special defensive um, buffs for your team on passive as well. You also have physical defense and special defense buffs on your trainer move, right? You could debuff opponents' physical attack, which helps. Right, um, if you're running in Sun, I guess like Healing Sun and stuff like that. Team Sentry Entry is, is available, right? First Aid, Quick Cure, um, yeah, she does buff crit. So I guess Tina would be another <laughs> support if you really, if you really want. To, you know, it, it fits. It fits Paulo, right? You got uh, it, you know exactly plus two attack from from the trainer move <laughs> uh, for Paulo, and then you can max out his uh, his crit, right? So. 
Uh, that's cool. Oh, team inflict and heal. That's that's another one, right? Uh, so yeah, you can burn, trip up. It's it's uh, it's an all right. It's an all right support. Um, I mean, if you compare it like across, if you compare it like other like four star summonable supports, I'd, I'd say she's, you know, probably like top three, right? But uh, um, I, I wouldn't really, I don't think it's better than like most um, like big summonable, not even big, just like even like average summonable like five star supports right but uh but she's at least versatile right like y you can use this unit in, in a lot of different places um uh, in comparison to, like maybe variety units where most of the time right they're more geared towards legendary gauntlet so um it's a good unit would i uh, unless you know if you're not a big like tina flareon fan right would you pull on this banner just to get her i i don't know i don't know i'd say probably probably not right um because like it's not like her rates are like boosted super high or whatever so there's that but on the other hand mm, i mean paulo paulo himself is really really good so if you do accidentally get paulo but it, it's just that like if it was like any other month <laughs> this would be like yes well i wouldn't say like yes but like you know it, it would be a it would be a decent idea it would be a decent idea right so like the future Paulo is still two percent and then you have to get like an extra chance to get this really really you know nice um four star support here it's just that again you got the three new champion banners up right um palmer argenta they're coming up as well right and like uh i i, I don't know uh it depends i guess right if it, it like and 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 i guess this comes to like the overall point of the banner like like overall Paulo's great. Paulo's a great unit, um, right? Really, really. Uh, he, he does everything. Right? He does, 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 uh, does everything. And it's not like one of those units that like, oh, does everything, but like, yeah, just all right. He does all those things, and he's pretty darn good at like, you know, ninety percent of them. <laughs> so yeah, and then you also have this side four star banner unit here with Flareon, Tina Flareon, which is also. Which is also pretty nice, right? Uh, again, for uh, four star support standard, right? Some both four star support, right? It, again, she's probably top three best uh, or five. Um, some both four star supports there, uh, though not a super high bar. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's, it's just that all the other banners, man. All the other banners, it's kind of tough. It's kind of tough. It is kind of tough. But. Uh, it's still, I don't know. It's a tough one. This is a tough banner. This is a tough banner, I'd say. <sighs> maybe like a, maybe like like an eight, eight point four out of ten, right? Again, like the banner itself, like it's good. It's really, really nice, right? Like, again, Paul's amazing. Tina's, you know, pretty, pretty solid too, right? If you could get, you know, get, get a copy, right? Um, being, being a four star and all on, on the banner, it's, it's just that. Unless you really, really like the character slash Pokemon, it's very, very hard to justify pulling it over the other ones at the moment, right? Like, if you got the other ones, then sure, right? But if not, I'd probably still focus more of the resources on, on the other ones, right? Because, again, Poem Masters, when you're pulling on a banner, pull on one banner. Don't pull on, like, five banners at the same time, right? Because, it, you know... You have to. You want to make sure you get you get one first, right? You, you don't you don't want you don't want the gems that you've spent before, right? All go to waste because you're you're, you're splitting your scout points between like th five different banners, right? Which there are definitely five different banners worth pulling on. So, yeah, that's 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 I guess the the you know. That's, that's, that's the thing here. So, so anyways, uh, yeah, that's me this one. Hope you all gentlemen guys think in the comments down below. Like, enjoy the video, subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon content. Again, I'll be pulling one that drops later tonight, so tune in for that. And uh, good luck for everyone still pulling on banners, and I'll see you guys in the next one.